Hey everyone, George here, and we're gonna pick off right from the last video, and we're going to add that security camera stuff that we are talking about before. So let's stop running our game, take a look at our cameras. Now, we had a camera manager, but what I'm gonna to want to probably do is create uh, a camera script, uh, not a camera object, but a camera script component that I'll place on every single camera, and it's gonna have enough public variables to make it generic enough to where I can add different angles, rotation. Let's go ahead and begin this. Uh, scripts, camera manager security, let's right click, go to create C-sharp script and call this uh, just a camera. Let's call this camera control. So that's not the name, so let's before we get an error, let's call this camera control. So if we take a look at the reference material again, and just, whoa, too loud. So when we jump into a camera, okay, very slow, slow rotation on the camera. So there's slow movement, potential laggy pause at the end, and then moving again. So now we know a little bit more about the camera, at least I've refreshed myself. So let's jump back in here and take a look at our camera control. There's a lot of ways I can do this. I can specify an angle itself. I can make sure that every camera is sort of in its central location and it rotates left or right. I could use, I could place two game objects uh, to the, at the location of each camera and then orient those ones. And uh, the idea is that it would then bounce between those two. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is the angle, right? So public float half angle is equal to, let's say 15 degrees is gonna be the standard. And let's do probably also, let's do a public is rotating, right? Because I think some cameras don't move. Public bool is rotating, public float, half angle, 15.0 degrees F. Um, I think that's all the information I actually need. So let's go to our update loop and we're going to do a, um, if is, whoops, no, 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 is rotating, the object is actually rotating, then we're going to want to do this half angle stuff. To do the half angle stuff, we're going to want to take our current uh, vector and rotate it some degree to the left or right. So we're going to want to record our start angle. So we're going to do a, let's just do a protected start angle is equal, uh, protected quaternion start, store that start angle in start. So let's do start angle is equal to transform dot, uh, what is it, rotation. Okay, so I know what I was at the beginning of everything, so I always know where my central point is. Oh, another thing we're probably going to want is a public uh, float time time to pause. Jeez. Let's say it's one second right now is the auto pause feature. This might be easier for me to do in a... Uh, a never-ending coroutine. Coroutine, at least, I don't have to check things like delta time. I can use waiting functions and so forth. So let's just assume I'm going to use a coroutine. Camera rotation, and we don't need any inputs to this. What we can do, in, you know, let's just assume we are going to do this. So let's do start coroutine, and the name is going to be, okay, we're going to do that. Start coroutine, and we have no values to pass in, semicolon right there. Now that we're in this coroutine, let's do a serialized field, or serialized field, so we can see in the editor and when we're doing our testing. Bool current direction. Do we want to do a bool or do we want to do something else? Equals true. While true, basically, because we're never leaving this coroutine until the game exits itself. While true, if current direction, and the idea behind this is if it's not current direction, it's the other direction, right? Else, do something else, meaning go in the other direction. If direction, what we want to do is take our current value and uh, slurp to the next value. So we're going to want some vectors to do that. And because we're going to want some vectors, I really would just like to use some game objects. That would be so much easier. We're not going to do this angle crap. I'm going to use slurp in this case, to move between the two angles. And because I'm gonna use slurp, I think I do want to have additional game objects sort of dictating the start and end field. Instead of using an actual rotation value, I'm going to use two other, let's do a public transform, um, start transform, and we'll do a public 
transform and transform. There we go. So in our scene, what I want to do is create game object, create empty, and I want to place it. Is it? Oh, it placed it the right place. Okay. So there's our game object. That's security camera. What? Let's go to local game object, and I want to take that game object, select the other object, and let's do let's do align view to selected first. Let's grab that game object and go to align with view. So now both of these game objects should be looking in the same direction. So there's that one and there is uh, that one right there, security 1A. So they're in the same direction. Now what we're gonna do is take that 1A, duplicate it, bring it on down. I'm gonna call this one uh, camera underscore 1A underscore start. F2, control A, control C, F2, control V and do end. And I'm gonna end up putting all these under another game object shortly. So let's rotate this guy. Uh, rotate that one maybe there. We'll rotate it there. Okay, let's go ahead and create a game object, create empty, call this, um, you know what? Why not just put these under the damn camera itself? That's a nice way to store it. Okay, so we got camera. Uh, I could probably now, assuming that's that I follow my own convention, I could find these objects in my script if I wanted to. And let's lock this in the inspector, move that to start, move this to end. And now I have my start and end values for when I'm rotating. Going back into my script, where is that? Did I close it out? Looks like I did. If current direction, what I'm gonna to want to do is move uh, my transform using slurp. So let's use quaternion.slurp. And with quaternion.slurp, what I'm going to want to do is put quaternion A, which is uh, my from rotation, which is where I am. So let's do transform dot uh, rotation, and I need to know where I'm going, and that's going to end up being our start transform to start with. So we'll do start transform, and of course time dot time times whatever the camera speed is. And the camera speed I still need to define. Let's do a public uh, float speed transform dot uh, rotation. There we are. Grab this, copy it, and we're going to do the same thing here except it's going to be our end transform for that one. Now after this happens, of course, we're going to want to yield return null. We're gonna do another yield return null down here. Uh, yield return null will have a skip to the next frame, which is where this will occur again. Now when I do hit the end of the direction, I need, I, well, I need to know that I've hit the end of the direction. I need to know that I'm within a certain orientation of these two objects. So I can know that I'm within range by actually doing the dot product of the two vectors that I have. That is the forward vectors of the transform and the star transform. If that's within a certain threshold, I know I'm pretty much done. I should determine which direction I'm in first, and then when I'm in that direction, uh, then assess. So if, this is what happens when you do things off the cuff. Sometimes you don't know what you're doing. Transform dot uh, forward vector three dot dot product. So the dot product, so long as these vectors are have magnitude of, of one, is going to give me a, an, a value between negative one and positive one, and that's going to indicate to me how aligned these are. Start transform, dot forward, wonderful. If the dot product of these two is uh, greater than or equal to 0.9f, then I'm going to want to swap the direction, so current direction is going to want to be knotted. So current direction is going to be equal to not current direction. So we just flip it. So now it's going to go into the other part of the else loop after it's assessed with this. So let's go ahead and grab that, paste it, and bring this on down here. Now, another thing that lag, that pause. So besides swapping it, I'm also going to want to do a yield. Uh, return wait for seconds. And that's going to be equal to the time to pause value right there. Copy that, and see coroutines are amazing. They make it inc oh new. It needs to be a new object, a new wait for seconds object. Save, wonderful. Okay, so we can go ahead and get rid of the update loop. There's no reason to have that. Uh, it's gonna actually 
in the long run, make our game a little bit more optimized to do that because it won't have an active area in our inspector. By the way, uh, what I meant is I just got rid of the update loop. So if we save this and come back into Unity and then click on our camera, so now we have this, so we so is rotating, we're gonna turn yes to on. Let's go ahead and hit run, zoom on out, and I have a reference problem. So let's figure out where that exception is happening. Camera control has been destroyed. So let's do this. Let's remove this component, add a new component, and add camera control. And we're just going to reset a few things here because it's given me some crap. So let's do that, that, and is rotating. And our speed is zero, so let's make our speed one degree per second. Oh, well, is rotating no longer matters. Oh, am I? No, it doesn't matter. Um, actually, it does. If is rotating, do this crap here. Oh, uh, this is wrong. This should be end transforms dot forward. And this should be an else. There we go. Okay, let's jump on back real quick. Just see what changes we've done. Make see if it does anything interesting. Well, got rid of our crappy errors there, didn't it? Okay, now let's take a look at what's going wrong here. So I'm doing a dot product between these two vectors, the transform and the start transforms forward vector. And uh, I'm not getting what I want to get. This is such a dumb mistake. I know I'm doing something really stupid. My brain's just not here right now. Current direction, it is not changing. Because I'm not, oh God, I am such a moron. Ah, huh. wow, okay, yeah, I am slurping, but I'm not setting it equal to anything, am I? So I need to do the transform, transform dot rotation is equal to this. Sometimes, sometimes, it doesn't matter how long you've been doing things. It doesn't matter how many years of experience you have. Sometimes you do dumb shit. And that's exactly what you just saw here today. So let's go ahead, jump on in now, and take a look at what happens. This never happens, does it? I always get a value, it looks like, that's higher than it should be. I'm never pausing back to where I should go. They're children. They're children, and they're rotating with the... F okay, so the mistake I made was actually making these objects children, because when this one rotates, these guys are going to come along for the ride. So, really dumb on my part. Uh, so what I'm going to want to do is move these guys on out of here. Not smart. Let's go to game object, create empty. F2, let's call this uh, camera, camera start and, and uh, directions. Let's take both of these guys, move them under there, save it, hit run now, and let's see what happens. So right now it's paused, it says it's paused. Clear this out, false. Pause, true. We select this camera, we can see that it rotates back and forth. A little too fast, so let's go ahead and fix that. Let's go down, let's find the time to pause is fine, but the speed is probably gonna be like really low, 0.2 maybe. Let's take a look, let's uh, bring the game up as well, just see what it's like. There we go. So there we are, rotating a little bit. Rotating a little bit of the way back with our pause and back. Okay, so that's it. So that was a really simple script. All we now need to do in the future is attach that, of course, to every single one of our cameras, check the reference material, and make sure it, um, it follows suit with the actual game. So uh, as you can see, sometimes we make stupid mistakes, and that's exactly what I did here today. See you next time. So long. George out. Bye.